InDesign has a hidden baseline grid that can be activated to automate the alignment of text. Have you ever tried to eyeball text to make sure it lines up across two pages of a spread? It can be difficult to get it exactly right. What about making sure the text on page 6 and 600 also line up? Activating a baseline grid forces all text within a page or spread to snap to the baseline grid regardless of your lighting settings. With the baseline grid activated, there is no way for text across the spread not to line up. Turn on the baseline grid via the view menu. Go to the view menu, choose grids and guides, and show baseline grid. Once your grid is visible, you can sync your text to use the grid via the paragraph panel. Highlight your text or select the text frame your text is in, and choose a line to baseline grid in the bottom right hand corner of the panel. And last, you can modify the baseline grid via the preferences dialog box. Go to the InDesign menu, choose preferences and grid, or if you're on a PC, you can use the edit menu preferences and grid, or if you prefer key commands, you can do command K or control K on your keyboard. And so the first thing you have to do is turn your baseline grid on. Here's a visual of how that would work. Choose the view menu, grids and guides, and then show baseline grid. You can see just because you have the grid turned on does not mean you're using it. My text is crossing over multiple lines of text. The baseline of my text is not sitting on the baseline of those blue horizontal lines. If you want to force your text to sit on those baselines, you need to sync your text to the baseline grid via the paragraph panel. So highlight your text either with a text cursor or click it with your selection tool. And then in the bottom right hand corner, click to align your text to the baseline grid and you can see that it snaps to the grid. Last, you can modify the baseline grid um, if you want it to be spread out further apart or closer together. And you can modify that by going to the preferences dialog box, choose grids, and then I like to modify the starting point. Do you want your text to start a half inch from the top of the page or an inch from the top of the page? And then the increment. How often do I want to see those blue horizontal lines? While you're there, if you want to, you can change your document grid color or your baseline grid color. The default is light blue to whatever you would like. I think light gray might be a good color for the baseline grid so that you don't really see it kind of fades away. Here's a visual of what happens if you modify your preferences. So you can see on the left that I have changed the increment to every 12 points on the left. And you can see that my text is hitting and it's, it's fine. But if I wanted my text to be closer together, almost like I'm decreasing the letting or the spacing between the lines of type, if I, increase, if I decrease the increment to every 10 points, it will get closer together. Be careful though, because if I had 12 point typeface and I made the increment every 10 points, I would not get type on every line because I can't fit my text on a line and it would overlap the line above it and you'd end up with text on every other line. So let's jump over to InDesign and I'll show you this really quickly. So to turn the baseline grid on, go to the view menu, choose grids and guides, and then show the baseline grid in its default setting. You can see that my type is going over the top of the baseline grid. It's not being impacted by that. But if I select the frame and choose the paragraph panel, let's highlight our text, and choose the paragraph panel, you can align your text to the baseline grid, and you can see how it's snapped to the lines. If I wanted my lines to be further apart, I can modify the grid by going to the InDesign menu, preferences, and grids, and grids. And then I can change this. So maybe I want to space it out further. So I want every 18 points to have a line. When I select OK, you'll see the, grid, the baseline grid has expanded and that I only have one line of text per blue horizontal baseline grid line. This helps when you're formatting your text and your spacing because if you snap to the baseline grid and you decide that you want to change your letting, you can Instead of changing the letting, you can just modify the baseline grid to be bigger or smaller between your lines of type.